welcome to the Level 4 Podcast. I'm Mike Sorter, the video and podcast producer for the SAE CDS series, and we got a great conversation lined up for you today. We have on the line Kevin Dietrich from General Motors. How are you doing today, Kevin? I'm doing great, Mike. Good to uh, be able to speak with you today. I'm really looking forward to our conversation today uh, about a lot of the great things that you're doing up there at, at uh, GM. Very excited to, to share all the good stuff. There's uh, been a lot of excitement lately. Well, first, let's get to know you a little bit. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what are you doing up there at uh, General Motors? Currently, uh, I am the program manager for the Auto Drive Challenge competition from uh, the General Motors uh, point of view. We uh, you know, started this journey off about four and a half years ago. Uh, I was handed a, a one-pager uh, from one of our executive leaders and said, hey, let's let's do this auto drive challenge thing. And it was, it was an outline. And here's, here we are almost uh, four years, you know, we're heading into our fourth year of the competition and uh, we've really grown, um, you know, the brand. So my focus is, has been that for a little over the last four years. Excellent. Excellent. It's, it's got to be great going into that last, uh, that last year of auto drive challenge and seeing, seeing the final fruit of that uh, for, for the first section of it. Right. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's exciting to see all the, the students' excitement. Excellent. Uh, I, I call this my, my giving back time uh, of my career. I've been with General Motors for over 30 years working uh, in production programs, you know, the nose, nose to the grindstone thing. And I consider now my time to, to share my experiences and, uh, you know, help with you know, getting other students interested and hopefully into, into GM. Excellent. So tell us, uh, you know, today we're talking a bit about your uh, one of your programs. Uh, tell us why the uh, GM brand is so focused on zero crashes, zero emissions, and zero congestion. Well, our, our vision with at General Motors is is a future with zero crashes, zero emissions, and zero congestion. As you said, autonomous vehicles, you know, which Auto Drive Challenge is uh, focusing on are really, you know, the convergence of all three of these zeros. AVs, you know, will shape cities in the future, uh, the lives of those who live there, and, you know, will have, you know, tremendous, you know, society impacts. GM and, and Cruise, the self-driving company backed by GM, we all believe that uh, the AVs and EVs that uh, these efforts will uh, clearly advance our vision, you know, and help build, you know, a, a much more sustainable future. Absolutely. Can you break down more each of those uh, concepts and some insight into a GM's vision on those? Yeah, let me let me talk about each of those zeros in in some more detail for you. Uh, we get a we get a lot of chance to do that uh, lately because this vision, you know, we've had for some time, and what I really like is how we're rallying around it. Zero crashes uh, is, you know, we want to help continue to move forward to a world of zero crashes. Uh, nobody, nobody wants to have crashes. Uh, GM recently introduced uh, a safety brand that is called Periscope. It, it represents uh, in a holistic approach to vehicle safety. Periscope consists of, of three areas, uh, technology, research, and advocacy. And it's, it's a way uh, to think about helping s the safety, not only of our drivers, but passengers and, you know, also those outside of the vehicle. So Periscope as a safety brand really aims to help reduce human error on the road because, you know, really reducing human error uh, can then help reduce crashes and, and move us towards that uh, zero crash vision. Zero emissions. Well, zero emissions, we're committed about putting every driver in an electric vehicle. Our new Altium platform, it'll help put everyone into an EV, you know, and it will move us, you know, closer to that world with zero emissions. Altium uh, is engineered for range, power, and flexibility to charge fast, run for a long time, long distances, and fit every type of vehicle. It's an innovation you know, that is powering GM's plan to offer 30 new EVs globally by the end of 2025, uh, two-thirds of which will be available in the U.S. The Altium platform uh, will also power the Cruise Origin, you know, which is our, uh, a shared self-driving electric vehicle. 
this zero emission vision, you know, the, that one zero is, is really near and dear to my heart. I didn't mention it earlier, but part of my career at GM was working in the, in the EV um, side of things. And so that one really resonates with me. Zero congestion. Well, our vision is that autonomous vehicles can help lead to a safer, less congested future for all when you're out on the road. Uh, it can uh, also lead to, you know, better accessibility and, and safety roads and just, you know, just less traffic overall. You know, that's a, an overview of our, our triple zero plan, our, our zero, zero, zero vision. Excellent. And it sounds like those zeros play, if not part or in whole, in what happens with Auto Drive Challenge. Yeah, with Auto Drive Challenge, the vehicle platform is a Bolt EV. So we have a very solid EV vehicle there for the teams to build their autonomous vehicle technology into. So they uh, they're getting you know some some perfect experience to align them to our vision. Of course, it's been a very unpredictable year with the uh, COVID pandemic, and uh, can you tell us a little bit of how that's made an impact on uh, on General Motors' vision here? COVID, yeah, we we've, we've been talking and living that for what seems like an eternity. But you know, here at General Motors, what we say is we're really you know all in this together, and, and over you know the past year. GM has really stepped up to, to help fight, you know, COVID-19. We've produced 30,000 Ventec life system ventilators, you know, and it was under a contract with the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Uh, we've directed 3.6 million in grant funding to nonprofit organizations across the country, and that's to help, you know, in, address, you know, increasing needs. We've manufactured over 10 million face masks and thousands of latex, you know, free face shields, protective gowns, uh, aerosol boxes to address, you know, the severe shortage of that uh, personal protection equipment that we all you know, heard about. We've set up donation portals for customers and employees wanting, you know, to lend a virtual hand, you know, either monetarily or using, you know, what we have inside of GM, a recognition uh, GM reward points. Uh, also here at General Motors participated in a, a sleeves up campaign in partnership with the American Red Cross. GM employees and others, you know, have pledged to give blood to local communities, you know, with a simple online pledge. But you know, all you know, the while we haven't missed a beat, even doing all those things, you know, with our EV and, and AV programs, uh, those have remained on track, and in fact, have actually accelerated. GM is increasing its financial to EVs and AVs to $27 billion through 2025. Um, and that's up from a $20 billion earlier uh, commitment that was planned at the beginning of the pandemic. So really, GM has done a lot uh, during this COVID time. Of course, General Motors recently rebranded. I know I've been seeing a lot of the media about that across multiple platforms that I, I, I'm on. Uh, can you give us a, a look into the new push on electrification? You know, we've recently evolved our brand identity as part of a new campaign to reflect, you know, GM's progressive company vision. You know, our, our Everybody In campaign showcases, you know, the Altium platform. Um, so we're, you know, we're still talking there about 30 more, you know, uh, more than 30 electric vehicles, you know, and some are beginning to launch this year. I'm, I'm sure you've heard about the, uh, you know, the, the Hummer EV and, and the Cadillac Lyric, just to name a couple. Working on making EVs accessible for everyone. Altium, the, the platform, the battery, that's really the foundation for this whole, you know, generation of EV lineup is really a, a, a powerful tool. Uh, it can allow us, you know, to build all of these electrics, you know, in a mass market, you know, to, you know, anywhere from, you know, mass market to uh, high performance vehicles. And like I said, with the, the Hummer, the, the Cadillac Lyric, you know, and then uh, the Cruise Origin as well. So working with the GM Visions over the years, do you have any advice or knowledge to share with our student teams when entering the workforce? Yeah, I get asked that question a lot. As, as part of Auto Drive Challenge, I do a lot of recruiting and interfacing with students. And I also am a member of our, our recruiting uh, team uh, during our recruiting season. 
it's amazing that question i don't know if it's like one of the the most popular publicized questions out there for students you know must ask <laughs> but uh yeah i do get asked that often and you know what i what i try to tell students and relate to them is what i have experienced with working uh, with new hires in gm it's you know how do you develop that personal brand early in your career how do you get that reputation of of you know being noticed, doing a great job, and and being that that go-to person, and you know what I try to tell them is you know volunteer. Uh, when you come in, you, you know there's you're not going to know a lot, right? It, it's all a lot of new to you, and some people can be afraid of that and don't want to put their foot forward or raise their hand to volunteer when help is needed. And what I you know try to tell uh, new hires or or students is you know raise your hand and, and, and volunteer, you know, you will learn something. Um, so that's another attribute of, you know, a good successful student is um, opportunities uh, for learning. Take them, you know, be hungry to learn and, and really lean into the experience and, and jump into, you know, those new uh, learning opportunities. Uh, at General Motors, we have uh, something called the track program. It's technical rotation and career knowledge. It's it's something we put uh, the the new hires into uh, for two years when they come into General Motors, and they get to rotate among you know different organizations for two years every six months. Uh, that gives them the opportunity to really grow their network and you know interface with other new hires and new hire groups. So growing your network, developing your your personal brand, uh, volunteering, and, and just learning are you know many of the the big items that I like to tell students about. Excellent. It sounds like you have a lot of great stuff going on over there at General Motors, and 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 I'm very excited to see that the students are on kind of the cutting edge of this, and 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 actually kind of informs what's next with it, right? Yeah, for sure. The the students. They're always excited whenever I see them, and they get to to work with the Bolt TV, uh, all the the great sensors and technology that our our suppliers for the competition, sponsors for the competition have provided, and and really get out into their full size real vehicle, and have it drive by itself in our in our challenges. What an experience when you're in college, right? That's that's super exciting. Excellent. So you mentioned recruiting. Uh, if you could, let us know where people can go find out more information about if they want to get a job with General Motors. And can you also tell us where people can find more information about, uh, uh, you know, the the zero 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 vision and more, more about General Motors vision in general? I would say start off with www.gm.com. All right. Just just go right up to to the high level there and start looking at all the cool stuff going on at General Motors. You can learn more about Periscope, you can you know dive into careers, look at career.gm.com, but uh, there's a lot to learn out on the web. And always, always check in, see what opportunities uh, we have. Excellent. Kevin, thank you so much for uh, taking the time to chat with us and inform all of our uh, uh, students out there that are uh, involved in the competition. Oh, you're very welcome. I'm, I'm glad that uh, I've had the time to, to share all of what GM is doing with you. Looking forward to talking to you again. Thanks, Mike. Thanks a lot. And of course, everybody out there, please uh, make sure you have downloaded that app for your CDS competition. Uh, Subscribe to the podcast wherever you find your podcasts. And uh, of course, if you have that app, you'll get all the notifications when there's a new episode and other information about your competition as we go along here. Whatever the latest updates, stay informed, have that CDS app on your phone so you don't miss a thing. Until next time, stay safe out there. Thank you for listening to Level 4, the SAE Auto Drive Challenge podcast. Make sure you download our app on your smartphone for updates and contact information. The show notes for this episode and all others can be found at autodrive.fireside.fm.